make a note or write a report, but you'd like not to type and use your voice instead, one option is using a Google document. You open a Google document, click on Tools, then click on Voice Typing, and then click on the microphone. I'll do it in a minute, but I, I'm going to dictate the some of the information on this file on assistive technology. Now let's see how accurately it's transcribed. What is assistive technology? Question mark. Assistive technology is any object, comma, device, or tool used to make life easier. New paragraph. Specifically, comma, assistive technology is any device, comma, gadget, comma, hardware or software used by a person with a disability to do things for themselves that might otherwise be difficult or impossible to do because of their disability, period. New paragraph. What can AT do for me? Question mark. New line. Assistive technology helps people with disabilities live, comma, work, comma, learn, and play as independently as possible, period. Now you'll notice that the transcription wasn't too bad. Of course, it wasn't perfect. I said AT, and instead it said AT, A-T-E-A, -E but I didn't have to train this system, and it worked pretty well. So if you want to dictate something instead of typing it, using a Google document, clicking on tools, clicking on voice typing may be the way to go. make a note on your iPhone without typing. Well, then we can simply use Siri. Hey, Siri, make a note. What do you want it to say? Testing Siri. Okay, I created a note. Okay. Testing Siri. Let's press the note and open it and place the cursor and start and then press the microphone. New paragraph. Good afternoon, Siri, period. Hope you're doing well, period. Thank you for being a great tool to help me dictate emails and other notes to myself. I really appreciate having this tool available, period. a quick audio recording with a one-step voice command and then have the recording automatically transcribed. Well, we can do that with an app called Just Press Record. So I will show how it works using a shortcut with Siri. Hey Siri, record. So you can see it's starting the program and starting a recording automatically. And I'll just talk for a while and see how well this transcribes it and how quickly it's transcribed. And then we can send it off. I can email it to myself or someone else. Let's stop it now. Click on this. And now it's being transcribed. 
and we'll read it. Click on Read. It's starting the program and starting recording automatically. I'll just talk for a while and see how well this transcribes it. So you can see that it's not too bad and it gives you a rough transcription and one can quickly send this out. Just a one-step action by creating a series sh shortcut. Well, how did I create this shortcut? I went into settings and then scrolled down to Siri and then touched on shortcut. Um, I created this before, so it says my shortcuts, and then you can see that I set one up called record. So I, I say, hey Siri, record. Hey Siri, record. And here it goes again, but I'll stop it this time. And I'll show you a little about the app. It's a, you can get it on the App Store. And it's $4.99. Again, not only does it record, but it transcribes your recording. And there's no limit to the length, or the only limit to the length of recording is the storage space on your mobile device. So I suggest you consider it, check it out. It's a, a nice tool to have.